Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cabela's, Cuddyback, America's Best Bowstrings, Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, Hoyman Tree Saws, Lone Wolf Tree Stands, Nikon, Ozonics, Redneck Blinds, RTP Outdoors, Spot Hog Releases, Wasp Archery, Viking Solutions, and Realtree. side of the farm uh, the water as you saw was just way too high um, and uh, we're getting some photos back here matter of fact in this corner there's a camera right down here where we have probably our best bucks on the farm they're in velvet um, and then right up this trail uh, we've gotten another buck that has some short tines uh, short tine nine that um, he just looks old as his rack comes up high is, is more spindly uh, I wouldn't certainly wouldn't be hesitating to shoot that deer either so um, LT's been seen in this location uh, on camera many, many times, but he travels between here and the food plot. Um, this is the, the farthest south that I have him on camera, and the food plot's the farthest north I have, so it's not too big of an area once he gets here. Um, and I don't know what happens to him during the rut either, so um, he's kind of all over the place. We had two encounters with him last year here, uh, but uh, we're tucked back in this corner, and um, as you can see from the pan that uh, there, there's not going to be a whole lot of time for us to react with the camera. So I'm um, hoping that we at least see them walking down the trail, that we have enough time to get them on camera. So um, it's our first time out here. Uh, we're excited, strong, uh, about 10 to, 10 to 12 mile an hour north wind. So not too strong, I guess, but I think they're going to come out of this tree planting and head out to the beans to the south. And we don't have permission to hunt the beans, uh, but we're going to catch them before they get there, hopefully. have said the same thing so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a uh, right a tat tat on the rattle bag Let's see if we can't see, get something to come down to this corner
bags are big this time of year, but wow, um, that's, a, that's a big deer. So uh, mature deer, like to shoot that deer if it comes over. Not a high scoring buck whatsoever, but um, that's what we've been getting on camera. So I don't think he's gonna come over here tonight, but um, it's good to see him. At least he's in this area, we know where he's at. just after sunset and uh, get kind of dark inside the timber here, but um, got three does here right behind us in the field. Um, but that's gonna probably close it out here for us this week. But, you know, we learned a little bit about this area and obviously the deer are bedding to the south of us um, and coming out to the beans and there's some deer obviously bedding in the tree planting here as well. So I think the water has really pushed them up to high ground and um, we'll probably have to wait until the water goes back down before we can, you know, get out here and hunt that lower area again. But uh, next week's my wife's birthday. The following week, uh, I'm at a men's retreat for church. And um, after that, probably looking to get after it pretty heavily after that point. So Caleb, his wife's due here at the end of October. So I don't know what he was thinking, but um, <laughs> neither does she. So uh, anyway. Uh, so we'll have that going on as well. But So you probably won't hear much from me over the next couple weeks, but if I can sneak out during the week, uh, we might have to do that. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, it's good to be back out. And uh, it's October in Iowa, and there's uh, no better time than this. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you back uh, again. Midwest Whitetail with Outreach Outdoors. Just went down the line.
behind the van. What do you think of that? Huh? Isn't she big? She's like twice as big as you are. That's a big tail. Is this like the best birthday ever? Yes! <laughs> was it even better than your birthday Sunday? Yes. It was still better than that? Yeah. That's awesome, huh? All right, here we are. Alana's got her first deer. She's got her birthday deer. Today is Alana's ninth birthday, and we were a little bit worried. It was getting close to dark, and uh, we'd only seen deer a couple hundred yards away across the field until all of a sudden some popped up to the right, and some popped up to the left, and we were trying to figure out which ones to aim at, and this one came the farthest out in the field, and what a perfect deer for Alana. She's a big old mature doe all by, her, all by herself, so Alana made an absolutely perfect shot despite how worried she was, but we got it done. Can't, uh, can't thank Dean enough for having us out here getting Alana her first deer, so we are pretty excited.